on the last episode of Xenosaga Episode 1, De Ville de Macht. Shion, I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness. Not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away. It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all this time. Xion, you'll eventually find yourself here too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. And now back to sexy robot bodies. Oh, well, I, I thought we were gonna have like a cool moment, think about it, and all that stuff, but uh, I guess they're not very happy. Oh, speed ahead. Shake them off. Aye, sir. Man, there's a ton of them. Oh. Oh yeah, it's uh, Junior. Junior's coming to help us. Sweet. That's Randall. You got it. Oh. Confirmed, little master. It's the Elsa. Jeez, That's his ship. Damn lucky we were passing by. What the hell are they doing here? Well, whatever. All guns, target the Gnosis. Cut open an escape path for the Elsa and annihilate the enemy. Well, that's a super-powered ship that could just fire lasers in all directions and kill everything. Why don't we just end the Gnosis now? Sounds like the fighting started. Are we gonna be okay? There were so many of them when we transferred in. They destroyed an entire Federation fleet. It would be wiser for us to flee than fight. This is no good. We'll never get all of them. But what should we do? We should resupply early. This is what I get for taking on the UTIC. Otherwise, this would be a cinch. Little Master, enemy group formation approaching from 5 o'clock. We're being surrounded on all sides. So they're not gonna let us go, huh? And they've coordinated their attack patterns. I've never seen them fight like this before. Even if we gate jump out of here, we may not be able to shake them. Little Master, another group is chasing after the Elsa! Oh, well. Tony, can you lose them? I doubt it. They're a lot faster than we are. Damn it. The Randall's guns aren't slowing them down. What are we gonna do? We're gonna need to look for uh, a hero. Uh, Cosmos, I guess. Yeah, she she's actually super strong. She fired like a cannon at the beginning, didn't she? I'm trying to remember if she did. Was somebody still down there? It's Cosmos. She does crazy things anyways. I'll put it on the monitor. Cosmos. 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 What are you doing? Get back here. She has to go Super Saiyan. Oh, her eyes are blue? Does she really want to be more human then? She doesn't really want to be evil or controlled by those people. Maybe she felt Sharenkov too, but... I want to see her Super Saiyan mode go. Yeah, 
And I want to see if her eyes turn red. Permutational phenomena appearing in the variant. In Mama? Where's it coming from? Scanning transfection course. Course trapped. It's coming from the quarantine hangar. Quarantine hangar? It can't be the Zohars. It is. External sources are sending requests to the Zohars. Paradigm contamination is spreading. If this keeps up, the mother frame will be taken over. Cut off the main line to the quarantine hangar. Stabilize the attract inhibitor through a secondary line. Main line purged. All signals blocked. Come on, you gotta, you gotta kill them all. Do it. Do it. Oh well, she has a stomach gun. Did she just suck all of them in? What? She didn't just do that and then shake that off. You gotta be joking me. What? And then her eyes turned red. Is the red a symbol that she's not her? What? Heck. That wasn't so bad. Chief. Did... Did that really just happen? Yeah. It appeared as if she absorbed the Gnosis. How could she have weaponry we don't even know about? No. That wasn't a weapon. That was... Something impossible. Who cares if it's possible or not? She got rid of the Gnosis, right? Uh... Captain, Little Master's been buzzing us for a while. Huh? Oh, patch him in. He's gonna kill all of us. <laughs> little Master. Uh, thanks for helping Hello. us out, Little Master. Sorry about all the This isn't the cosmos that I built. Kevin. Is this your hand at work? Did Kevin really do it, though? <laughs> Is this the real cosmos that you wish to create? She really took out all of them, even the cathedral ship. If that thing's out there. What in the world, dude? Commander. What is it? Commander Cherenkov's SMS tracking signal has disappeared. And the UMN? Huh. I was able to track him while he traveled through hyperspace, but I lost him at point two one zero zero seven eight three. There are traces of a space-time anomaly at that same point. So we believe the Gnosis may have been there. I see. That kind of just showed so that he actually has heart. Your little master. Wow, that came up really Thanks fast. Holy cow. Us out. You guys better fill me in on the situation later. Man, what the heck is going on here? And Mama's gone and caught a bug, so we can't perform any investigations or analyses for a while. That's terrible. Tell me about it. Hey, is that Little Master? He's our boss. The head honcho. Hey, Little Master. We picked up a couple of passengers headed for Milsha while we were working. What should we do with them? They look like they're in pretty deep with something. 
Well, your first concern should be to repair the Elsa. Why don't you get it fixed over at the Foundation? You won't make it very far in that kind of shape. Foundation? You mean the Kukai Foundation? From the Galactic Finance 500's top 10 fastest growing corporations list? Then you must be... Ah, the business stuff was meant to be a side thing. We got lucky, that's all. This is bad, Chief. We can't associate with these people. Hey, hey. I heard that, man. Would you rather we left you here in space? Uh, no. Sorry, sir. Look, little master, what do you say we just leave this wuss behind? He spends all his time <laughs> moaning and groaning. Hey, come on. Poor Alan. Chaos, help me out here. Well, it's not really up to me, you know. I better leave this one to you two. Then I'm definitely giving him the boot. Come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, man, don't freak out. We're just playing. What's wrong? Something worrying you? Huh? Oh, no. It's nothing. I'm Shion Uzuki. Nice to... Um, meet you. Junior. Guinan Junior. I got a real name. But let's just leave it at that for now. Good to meet you. Shelly, change of plans. We're returning to the Foundation. Make sure to tell Guinan that we have secured the final emulator. Roger. Preparing to return to the Foundation. Start for saying... Sorry for staying silent for most of these scenes, I just... That one with Sharenka really hit me. Like, maybe not super emotionally, like I'm tearing up, but... It was kind of deep and philosophical. Satisfying. These guys know how to tell a great story. Oh, it's that dude with the other Realian girl. Well, got another save. You know what that means. Hit the button. Shoop. Ah, oh, that, that's been a while since that happened. Very long time. I mean, I guess we're going to be sucked into another cutscene, so I got to keep playing. I can't really quit. <sighs> Is this the dream that he's having? Oh yeah, it must be. He mentioned he keeps on having a dream. I think. Am I messing this up with something? No, it has to be the dream. Oh, that's his planet, Ariadne. Ariadne, whatever it is. It's about to like zip into space now. Cat. Oh, is it? It's his cat. <laughs> or it was an actual person. Yep, it was the dream. Why does he have 666 on his hand? <laughs> the next day. That's my question. I mean, I know there are these old Japanese JRPGs what like to have religious undertones, but... The environmental controls here seem extremely strict. They're Can you so not read big. the pictures? Six to each side, with one directly across. Thirteen in all. Looks like each block has a name inscribed on it. 
You've got great eyesight. Hmm, let's see. Peter, Andrew, Boanerges, Thomas, John. Um. Was that Andrew a reference Philip, to? Matthew, Bartholomew, James. Oh, no. Thaddeus, Simon, Judas. Look at that. And Religious Matthew. undertones. Does it say Jesus? I will kill you. It appears to say Marian Kind. Marian Kind? I think I've heard that somewhere. It means the child of Mary. Gosh darn it. it was <laughs> this is where we store all the really dangerous items. Stuff like this. Zohars! Actually, they're all emulators. And they've all been sealed, including the one we just retrieved. Why are these Zohars here? Well, our corporation does dabble a little in everything. Besides, these days, you can't get by without having something to deal with the Gnosis. And we definitely can't wait around for the Federation to get off its lazy butt. What's in the room across from here? Nothing pleasant, I'll tell you that much. You're not going to show us? Trust me, it ain't something you'd want to see. Even if we were to consider the diversity of your businesses, you're still a foundation, right? I mean, the weaponry on this ship far outclassed those on any warship. Who are you people, anyway? We were more or less a government organization previously. Well, I guess if you want to see it that badly. What? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Junior. I figured it would be Gnosis. Oh. Um. What is this? <gasps> uh. I warned you, you weren't gonna like it, didn't I? All of these specimens appear to be humans whose bodies turned into Gnosis. Transformed bodies. I've only heard of them before. Most people just turn white and shatter to pieces. But there are a few exceptions, and they end up like this. We've named this Ugh. one Betty for now. It's hard to look straight at them, but I don't want to refer to them by some code name or number. It's just not right to treat the dead like mere objects. Is that a lady? She was a little girl. The last time we saw her. People turning into Gnosis? Have you learned anything about them? Not much. Plenty of Gnosis remains have been recovered to date. But nobody's learned a thing from them. Ah, oh, dude, that one on the left is like you know a skull. What composed of? No. Sodium chloride. Plain old salt. Even oh my gosh, another religious undertone. They're mostly made up of water and sodium hydroxide. Yep. How can ordinary compounds like that form creatures like them? No one really knows why those who survive Gnosis encounters always turn into one of them. Some people think they're a new type of virus. Others say they're beings from another dimension who take on temporary forms in this one. Always? No exceptions? Nope. Not as far as I know. Except for that one. So they could be from another dimension? Wouldn't that mean that their true forms might exist somewhere else? Who knows? All that's certain is that they're hostile to humans. Not that such a sentiment is unique to them. Chief, is something wrong? You don't look so good. Huh? No, don't worry. It's nothing. So... So when did this all begin? Unofficially. Phenomena like this have been occurring periodically over the past few centuries. But, after a certain incident, the Gnosis leapt into the forefront of history. A certain incident? The Milshin Conflict. Hmm? Joachim Mizrahi. 
It was he who opened Pandora's box and unleashed the Gnosis upon the galaxy. And we're all paying for his ambition. Joachim Mizrahi, the brilliant scientist who founded the UTIC organization. Brilliant? He was a lunatic. Unable to bear his curiosity, he invited the Gnosis into our world. Lunatic? The Foundation was established after the war by the newly formed Second Milchian government to clean up and investigate the facts behind the incident. Technically, that's our real job. Problem is, the funding's tight in peacetime. On top of that, running the Foundation takes a staggering amount of money, and the management of these Zohars ain't cheap either. So, we ended up privatizing part of our operations and became a Foundation. We never imagined that some of our side businesses would hit it so big, though. wasn't like that. Oh. Oh wow. Can I go back in? He's really going to let me back in after that. <laughs> I feel like she's going to be a boss later. I don't trust these people. I don't trust the fact that they're here. I feel like they will come back to life at some point, but yeah, whatever. Anyways, guys, I've been recording for way longer than I, I, I intended to. Uh, do I have to talk to Alan? Oh, crap. <laughs> Shelly called for me, so I'm heading over to Durandal's Bridge. Oh. Okay. Well, you do that, man. You do that, my friend. I wonder where Momo went. All right, well, let's go. Uh, come on. <laughs> uh, there's an email for Shion. Sweet, a new map. I always wanted one. Goodbye, bunny man. Goodbye, bunny bad man. These are the first men I've seen. Well, I mean, I guess there are normal men. Uh, let's go to the bridge. Well, looks like Alan ain't here. Is there really no save point? Gosh darn it. <laughs> I don't want to go here, I want to save. I mean, I guess I could just save state it, but... What do you all think? Joachim Mizrahi the lunatic? Is Daddy really like that? Since Probably Daddy was. Built us, does that mean realians are bad people too? Momo, we were looking all over for you. Hello, Xion. What's wrong? You look kind of down. Xion, I... I was created by Joachim Mizrahi. He designed the 100 series Realians back when the Federation funded him. I know. Xion, I... Daddy wasn't a lunatic. I don't even know what I am. Identity diffusion. The eternal dilemma. There's no way she caught that just by holding her hand out. Do you know about the environmental bugs on board this ship? They're actually nanomachines, you know. Used to keep in closed spaces like this clean. I'd say that of all the things Professor Mizrahi or anyone else created, they rank up there pretty high. These bugs may be man-made, but they function as if they've existed all along, almost as if they were meant to be. I think realians are the same. The only difference between us is the length of our histories. But regardless of our origins, each one of us has an important role to fulfill in this world. Besides, I really doubt Dr. Mizrahi was a dangerous person like everyone makes him out to be. And it's not just because of the environmental bugs. The work he did on realians was incredibly insightful. The fundamental gnosis research Professor Mizrahi left behind played a critical role in the development of modern anti-gnosis technology. Thanks for the backup, Cosmos. I'm really glad to see you react like that. 
Empathizing with the feelings of others is a major factor in human relationships. Although I do not believe that the current situation called for me to act in an empathetic manner, I am pleased to be of service to you. <laughs> I think Cosmos is really funny. Too bad she doesn't take instruction very well. I never got to meet Daddy. But he used to talk to me all the time before I was born. It's all a little hazy, but I remember him telling me that I could become a real person if I did good deeds. Really? That's a wonderful memory to have. Uh-huh. Chief! Great news! Get out of here, Alan. No After one the ship loves you. Arrives at the Kukai Foundation, they're gonna take us to Second Milsha. <laughs> Second Milsha? Really? Apparently, they have some work to take care of out there. The captain's still whining about repairing the Elsa, but... Some work? I wonder... Huh? Well, I'm sure they've got their own reasons. But don't you think it's a little strange that everyone's heading for Milsha? Not really. It's probably just a coincidence. I'm just glad we saved some money. Not to mention that this ship's a million times better equipped than the Elsa. And we'll have nothing to worry about if we run into the Gnosis again. And we're gonna hear hit by the Speaking Gnosis. Of which, did you check out your room? They all have jacuzzis and mini bars and... Hey, what's wrong, Chief? <sighs> nothing, nothing. I'm just jealous of how easily swayed you are. <laughs> poor, poor Alan. Can I please get a save? Thank you for not thrusting me into another cutscene. That would really suck. Alright, well, I'm just gonna have to settle with the, uh, a little bit of a, uh, a save state. Just because I don't want to keep on continuing, I've been recording for four hours, four and a half hours actually. <laughs> You're probably only going to see like, what, six of these? Probably. Maybe less. It's crazy, I know, but whatever. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below what you thought of these episodes. I really do appreciate it, it means a lot. And um, what do you look forward to next? Do you look forward to Xenosaga episode two, three, or. Uh, is Xenoblade Chronicles and X the ones that you really want to see? I know I do want to get to the uh, Xenoblade Chron Chronicles 2 eventually. Hopefully I'll make it work, but until that time comes, it's a, it's a hope and a dream. But uh, anyways, uh, by the time you probably see all these episodes, I'm going to try to start uh, doing the Kingdom Hearts streams. So hopefully you'll be enjoying those. Uh, why am I dragging on like this? Who knows? Anyways, guys... Au revoir, ladies and gentlemen. Au revoir.